John Ellett, welcome. Um, John Ellett, um, for those of you who don't know, um, and I don't think there would be many, uh, is one of the foremost practitioners, thought leaders, leaders in general in B2B marketing and has been for many years. John is uh, the CEO of a, of a B2B agency based in Austin, Texas, and Fusion. Very well known, very highly recognized, uh, widely awarded, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, focus on marketing technology and demand generation and, and all of those kinds of things. Uh, and John also is uh, an author um, of the CMO Manifesto. Got it. Yeah. And, uh, and is a frequent contributor to Forbes yep. as well. So from all of those uh, perspectives, um, we'll benefit by uh, uh, having John's input into this conversation. So John, I want to start off um, by actually asking you a little bit about your career, your background, and when you think about it, long career, what are some of the highlights that you'd share with us? Yeah, um, when you've been doing this 40 years, there's, uh, and we've been doing it for a long we time. Ask, we'll, we'll do low lights later. Okay. Yeah. Um, over a drink, I think. I've, I've been very fortunate over my career to have some really cool experiences. Uh, I, I was able to uh, transition my uh, career at IBM from being a field salesperson to an advertising manager on the original IBM PC and to work on the Charlie Chaplin campaigns uh, when it was the Get a preeminent campaign uh, in the industry. Uh, it was it was awesome yeah. to be a part of that and cut my teeth that way. And then I got lucky again. Got invited to join a little PC company in Austin. Started by a college dropout, and I uh, had the good fortune of being able to orchestrate the name change from PCs Limited to Dell. So uh, Michael Dell was that guy. He, he was that guy. <laughs> yeah, um, and uh, was the communications lead during the. Uh, taking the company public, uh, and then ended up as the North American CMO uh, through the mid-90s. And so that that experience of taking a company from 60 million to 3 billion in seven years was just an insane experience, uh, and was very fortunate to have uh, been able to learn a lot the hard way uh, through trying to experiment and do things that nobody had done before. Uh, there wasn't a, a roadmap for how you create a, a business that sold computers directly to, to customers. and uh, to do that and figure out how to do it well was uh, was just a tremendous experience to be a, a part of. So thinking about the 40-year piece, um, what's changed the most in, in B2B marketing and marketing in general across uh, the time that you've been involved in the business? There are a few major changes and all brought about by technology. Um, and I, I've been a Kind of a passionate student about the the role the technology has played in marketing and uh, when I was doing advertising for IBM we were trying to figure out how to deal with cable TV uh, it was kind of a new new change in the way that, that broadcast happened but with the uh, development of uh, mobile devices and social media uh, the emergence of AI on its way uh, the uh, the the power of how uh, brands are built today has shifted uh, and I think in the, the past we had as marketers a lot more control of that process. Um, it was much more of a broadcast approach uh, to communicating, uh, communicating the brand proposition, you know, being able to help position what the company stood for. Uh, but today the, uh, the customers talking to each other uh, through uh, the megaphone of social media uh, and uh, amplifying their experiences, uh, good or bad, um, has a much more profound way on how decisions are being made. And uh, that's huge. Uh, and that's shifted, I think, the role of marketers from just figuring out what to communicate to needing to be a big partner with inside the company on uh, focusing on the customer experience. Uh, and if you don't deliver a great customer experience, um, the word of mouth about you that's shared now through all the different ways that that can be shared is uh, is not going to be positive. And so there's no place to hide. Uh, I think there were, you know, 40 years ago you could kind of get away with things. Uh, it's pretty hard to get away with things anymore. Yeah.